I told you! Dan. Oh, this is a big fish, man. This is a big fish. Oh. This is a really, really big fish. And, um, I don't know what I don't know what it is. What's going on, doggies? Welcome back to another video. Have a look at this. I am so bloody excited right now. So what we're doing, we're in the Troopy. The four wheel drive is engaged. The tires have been bagged. We're punching this way. Wait, wait. All right, here we go. We're up on top. Look at this. This is some of the most incredible, beautiful, bloody country ever. It might not look my like much on the camera, but it is just bloody beautiful. This is Australia. And this is what I've missed so bloody much. This, the freedom, look at this. There is no one around in a million miles right now. <laughs> to say I'm excited, that is an understatement. Let's go. We've got to put a massive bend. Hey, oh, in the noodle rod. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. This is what it is all about right now. You just never know what's at the end of one of these tracks. It's so incredible. Like these tracks, they split off everywhere. I don't even know where I'm going right now. I'm literally just driving. And um, here we go. We've already found a little bit of treasure on the track. <laughs> Check this out. Hey! There we go. Somebody's bloody drink bottle. Put your rubbish in the bin, people. Here we go, here we go, here we go. A little bit more treasure on the track. Look at this. Cappuccino. Bloody hipsters leaving their rubbish around on the track. Who are you heading, boys and girls? Seriously. It's a beautiful country, let's keep it beautiful. That is a potential lifesaver in a survival situation. There you go. Anyway, like I was saying, these tracks they just split off absolutely everywhere around this area and um, this is one of the most enjoyable things to do is just drive. We're going to get the noodle rod out once we arrive in location and we are going to go try to get some big fish on the noodle rod. And um, while I'm talking about the noodle rod, two days ago we did a big mission, we did a big walk. I think it was about a four and a half to five hour walk to get to the location we were at and I broke absolute records on the noodle rod unbelievable day it still blows my mind today this rod is a one to four pound setup super super light gear and i'm going to roll the clips on now i'm going to show you guys the fish that we caught and um mind blowing i'm going to roll those clips on now if we get stuck or in a little bit of boggy sand i'll um click back to this 4b mission but right now the troopy is just chewing this sand up so roll on the uh, noodle rod bending sessions ow we are on oh my god we're onto a really, really, really bloody good fish on the noodle rod right now. We have been walking for a long time to get to where we are, and we have um, hooked onto a big fish. Oh, big fish. Ah, oh, listen to it. <laughs> look at that. It is screaming right now. Have a look at the size of this tailor that we've just got on the noodle rod. This is a big fish. This is a really, this is my best tailor on the noodle rod for sure. Look at the size of it. Come on. I've got extra, extra light line. Oh! I have to. Oh! Look at this. The noodle rod is getting absolutely spanked. There's two big tailor there now. The other one is actually trying to eat the lure out of the other mouth, fish's mouth. This is mayhem. Have a look at that. What are you kidding me? Look at the size of this tailor on a noodle rod. Are you joking? <laughs> that is the monster. Oh my God. That is massive. All right, I'm gonna get it off on the bank. <laughs> no way. This is a big tailor. Just for perspective, 
If I put it next to my leg, it's from my shoe up to my hip. That's how long that fish is on the noodle rod. The lightest possible line you can buy. That is epic. We're gonna let this beautiful thing go. That is why that is a way to start a video. Thank you. That was incredible. You definitely deserve to fight another day. Come on. Here he goes. Big fight on the noodle rod. See you later, buddy. That was incredible. Oh, look at the size of this snake. That is a big snake. Come here, you mongrel. There he goes around that bush there. Have a look at that. Where is he? He's on the other side. Whoo, that was big. That was a big snake around. He's in there, I think. Righto, Mac 10. Watch your bloody feet. That was a big, big snake. I've got a pair of shoes on. Mucky is wearing thongs, so um, <laughs> let's be noisy. Let's be careful where we walk, all right? That was a big boy. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this, but right there is a big tailor. I'm gonna keep you guys in my hand. I'm gonna try to cast this lure at it. Here we go. Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. There we go, we're on. That's a Taylor on. Oh, that's on, we're on. One-handed fishing for Taylor. Oh, and he just spat the lure. That was a big fish. He just spat the lure down here. Holy moly. That was sick. So This place is absolutely unreal. We have like this epic dead tree structures on one side. Ooh, oh my God, hold the camera, hold the camera. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh, it's gonna eat it at the beach. Is it gonna eat it at the beach? Come on, come on, come on. Wow, <gasps> this is the best day of my life. Come on, come on, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, oi! Oh, right, they're still there, they're uh, still there. Punching out the back. Come on, come on. Oh, there we go, that's a big hookup. Yes! Oh my goodness, you're kidding. That is the most incredible thing Wow! This is, a day, this is the best thing ever. Wow! This is what it is all about. Come on you beautiful boy. Have a look at that. That is another monster on the noodle rod. Look at that man! Are you kidding me? Smash that lure. That is what dreams are made of. Right there. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna get this lure out. Excuse me. I'll get this lure out and we'll get him straight back in the water. That one's a little bit smaller. Ooh. A little bit smaller, but not by too much. That is another incredibly beautiful fish. This one's going straight back in the drink to fight another day. I'm speechless. That is a monster of a tailor on the lightest fishing gear. All right, mate, you have, an, you have an amazing day. You just made mine. All right, see you, mate. See you next time. That was a pleasure. Wow. Huh. Are you kidding me? Those tailor came right up to our feet chasing this tiny little lure in. That was off its head, man. So what I was saying before we saw those fish is how absolutely beautiful the landscape is here. It's like these epic sand dunes of beautiful water, shelly beaches, 
So what we're gonna do, we we'll probably whack the drone up in the air, have a look from above because I reckon it's gonna look absolutely incredible. Wow. We are nearly on location, but not yet. We've still got a bit of a walk up the coast. What we're gonna do now, set up a backpack, chuck a bottle of water in it, chuck all the fishing gear we need in it for the day, and we are gonna punch that way. We've got a bit of a walk, we're gonna climb down a massive cliff. You guys will see what's gonna go on during the day, but first off, we need to set up all this fishing gear, and then, um, boy, how bloody good was that fishing session on the noodle rod? That tailor was literally, this is my leg. It was up to there, man. That's a big fish on the noodle rod. Absolutely mind-blowing little rod. Let's see what we can get, get done with it today. I'm gonna to be using the noodle rod and I'm gonna be using one other rod. So we're going to set up our gear and it's exciting times. Poor car needs a serious wash, but have a look at the back of this troopy, would ya? She's an absolute pig sty. <laughs> there is just stuff everywhere in here. We've got fishing bags, fishing rod holders, fishing rod holders. It's a mess. Anyway, let's go. I'm gonna fill this bag full of all the equipment we need today, and we are gonna be off. So pretty much what the go is with the troop, because I keep getting asked a couple of questions. I am waiting for a, a draw system to be built and delivered. There's a lot of things that need to be done to the car, but for now, this is how we live. It, um, it's kind of messy right now because that was an hour and a half of absolute bumpy tracks, but that's a box full of fishing reels, more fishing gear. It's just fishing gear, absolutely bloody everywhere. And you know what? I absolutely love it. Well, that did not take long before I got one of these stuck in me bloody foot. Ah! Oh well, there, no, it's still in me foot. Hold up, hold up. Ah, see these things? They're bloody everywhere. And knowing, and just because I am how I am, I'm wearing bloody thongs again. Seen a little snake on the track this morning, so better keep my eyes out, but we are here. We've made it. We've got a little bit of walk through the bush here, and we are gonna arrive on the destination. Looks like it's quite a big cliff, so might have to do a little bit of billy goat scrambling down a cliff to get to the water, but once we get to the water, you want to see the color of this water. Incredible. <laughs> Have a look at this. We've actually made it to where I wanted to make it. Now we've just got to find a way down this cliff, but have a look at it. It is absolutely hey, unreal. <laughs> What we're gonna do, we're gonna find a way down this cliff here. Once we get down there, this water looks incredibly good. That is Noodle Rod City, baby. Big flathead, big sand whiting, possibly. I do not know what's around the corner, but we're about to find out. Look at this. My God.
literally put the drone up for one second and you come across massive sea or we call them i call them sea cows but they're actually dugongs so there was like a mum dugong and a little baby just floating around having the time of their lives down here right now as i speak there's a baby shark but you probably won't be able to see it on the camera maybe I don't know if you guys can see it, but just there, there's a little baby shark swimming. That little black patch there is the two sea cows. Bloody beautiful, mate. I'm going to keep walking around this cliff to that sandy bit that we saw on the drone. I reckon that's the go. Then walk all the way back down on the bottom, flicking this little soft plastic along here. Oh, stop it. Made it, let's go. Straight down here. <laughs> it's the easiest walking I've done all day. Oh. Boy. Yes. There we go. Mission complete. Let's get up on this rock. This is gonna be our casting platform. Whee. Right. Come on, come on, hit it, hit it. It's just there, hit it, hit it, hit it. Yeah. Oh, that's a fish. No, don't go under the rock. What the hell is this? It's only a baby, but I've just walked up around the corner. Haven't had too much luck. We've been here for a little while. First fish of the day coming in on the noodle rod. What do we got? What is that? There we go, first fish of the day. That's a little tailor. Smash that lure, it's actually not that small, it's probably, meh, it would just go size probably. These have to be 300 millimeters, 30 centimeters long. He's a beautiful little fish, he's obviously going to go back, it's the first fish of the day. On the noodle rod, smash that lure like you should have. Beautiful little one, let's get him back in the water. We're definitely chasing bigger fish than this, but it's a nice start. See ya buddy! Oh, I just casted that next to something. Oh, there it is. I seen that thing splash on the surface, casted at it, and we have it. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. That's a nice little run. This is, might be a bit bigger fish. Come on, come on, come on. What is this? All right, they're getting bigger. That one's a little bit bigger than the last one. This one's easily sized. Easily a size fish, but we'll let him go. So that was the second cast. One cast, second cast, bang, after we got that last one. This is Taylor heaven out here. But we don't want, oh, yeah, we would want these. This is good fun on the noodle rod, but what a bit of variety, you know? We started this video with a couple of donkeys. Now um, we're still catching Taylor. So hopefully we can get a couple of different fish during the day, but that's a lovely one. Right, uh, you go back, buddy. Love ya, thank you. I'll see your parents in a couple of days. Woo. See ya! Like a bullet, look at him go. Woo. Oh, smashed it. Second cast in the new rock. <laughs> this place is incredible. It's noodle doodle heaven. Oh no, go around that rock. Don't you dare go on there. Oh no, 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 no. Stay high, stay high. Ah, it's got barnacles. Yes, we got it. Another Taylor. <laughs> this place is packed with Taylor. There's another beautiful one. Probably about 350 mil long. Lovely little fish. See ya, baby. Woo. Off he goes. Ah, oh, this is getting out of control. Oh yes, it's a different breed. <laughs> it's a different fish. Yes. It's only a little pup, but that is a beautiful juvenile golden trevally. Epic little fish. Really hard fighting. Even a fish of this size, 
puts up a hell of a fight on the little one to four setup, but that is a lovely little fish. You can see on this side here, he's got a little bit of a wound. He's been fighting or he's been bitten by a shark or something's happened to him there, but, ooh, sharp. Oh, ah, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, there he is. A little bit of a different species for once. This is like the little, this must be like the kindergarten for all the fish out here, but we'll get him back in the water. It's a beautiful little specimen, this one. See you, mate. Have a good day. Love ya. Woo! This is incredible. How many fish are out there right now? Standing on top of that cliff, you would never imagine that there's that many little fish out here. And, um, wait a minute, my bloody lure's stuck on a rock, isn't it? Oh, and just to make it even better, my bloody plugger just broke. But you know what? Couldn't happen in a better part of the world. Come here. We've got the lure back. We'll fix the plugger up. But, um, yeah, this is just like full-on baby, baby fish country right now. When I looked at this place on the map yesterday, I was like, this place could hold some big fish, but now that I'm here, pretty shallow, pretty rocky, maybe there'd be the odd one cruising around, but I don't know. I'm just gonna have to um, oh, get this thong through. There we go. And I um, don't know, maybe I'll put a soft plastic on, see if we can pick up a big dirty flathead. Who knows? <laughs> You're joking. Oh, no way. We just actually lost a flathead. Third or fourth cast. That was a flathead. Hey, love it when a bloody plan comes together. I seen him following it in. He followed it in the whole way down here and he just took it down there. Unfortunately, we didn't hook it correctly. So, that was, a, that was not a bad little flatty. Come on. Let's get another one. That same fish that I just caught is actually going for the plastic again. How stupid can it be? Let's see if it actually eats it. Oh, he actually ate it. You've got to be kidding me. This is the fish I just lost and he actually ate the plastic again. That is incredible. All right, let's get this fish up onto the beach because it is a beautiful fish. Oh, as if that even happens, man. All right. This is the part where I've got to be careful. I'm going to slice my foot open. <gasps> no, it just got off again. All right, let's see if we can catch it again. <laughs> crazy, crazy times, man. We just caught a flathead, lost a flathead, and then I seen it, I cast it at it, and we caught the same flathead, and then I lost it again because I was piss farting around on that slippery rock, I didn't want to slice my foot open. So we've lost him, but there are flathead here. So we're gonna get one, and that's what I wanna eat. Flathead are beautiful eating. That's what we're going for now. That is the targeted species. This place is off its absolute head. It is so bloody beautiful right now. There's not too much wind, that wind's buggered off. I am just getting little fish like this big flat out. Definitely isn't what I expected when I looked on the map, but I suppose that's the joys of traveling around and looking around. You're never gonna always get the big dogs, are ya? But right now I'm absolutely dying for a drink of water. And then I don't know what we're gonna do. It's just a small fish party out here. There's like a thousand garfish in front of me here. Like I'm literally talking like a thousand of them. You can see them all flickering on the surface. What do we do? We go back and get a tailor for lunch. I'm absolutely starving. Oh, it ain't no coconut, but it's close enough. Wait. All right, I suppose the plan is 
just to keep on punching that way. We're just gonna keep walking until we get something that I can have for lunch, but have a look at this behind me. How epic is that? So good, man. All right, down there, there's 100,000 garfish. We can eat them, don't want to. Up there, hundreds and thousands of tailor. Easily, there's like 50% of the, 50% that I call were oversized, so we can eat them. But what we'll do is, we'll just keep punching that way around that corner. We have not seen what's up there yet, so I've got no idea. We'll just keep walking that way. Maybe we'll get that big dog we need for dinner, lunch, maybe not. You gotta be in it to win it. Something here swimming in the water. I have got absolutely no idea what it is, but it's pretty big. And um, I don't know, let's see how we go here. What is that? Oh my God, we've got it, we've got it. We just hooked up. Oh, this is a big fish, man. This is a big fish. Oh no, this is a big fish. What is this? I see like a big black, big black shadow in the water. Oh no, this is my favorite lure. Oh, look at it, look at it, listen. It's big. This is a really big fish. What, I don't have no idea. That's not fighting normal. Oh, and the noodle rod. So how's your day going? My day's been pretty good. A couple of small fish, you know, like, I'm gonna be here for months. Listen to this. I'm just sitting here so relaxed, probably about 20 minutes into the fight. I cannot bring this fish in. Seriously, look at this. The noodle rod is just giving it, giving all she's got right now. It can't be, a, it can't be like, it can't be a GT or anything because it's just not swimming like that. I don't know what this is, I've got no idea. How long is this gonna take? All right, here he comes. I don't know what's going on right now, but I can see, I can see something big and black. It's coming in now. I've literally been sitting here for like 30 minutes, 35 minutes trying to get this fish in. Oh, it's still, it's still pretty far out, but I can see, I can see black. What is that, man? Are you kidding? No, it's not. What is that? No! Oh! You little mother eater! All right, that was exciting to say the least. How's the lure? Still got my, got my lure back. See, I upgraded those hooks. It works when you upgrade those hooks from the cheap ones. How is that? That's incredible. All right, so what we actually had on, we just had a shark. And um, I have no idea how or how that happened, but I hooked a shark. And um, obviously we hooked it in its mouth because the lure has been absolutely destroyed. So obviously I cast it at that fish. The shark had a sniff, banged it, hooked it. We've been sitting here for about 30 minutes trying to get it in on the noodle rod. This is like, this is like PE.6 line, so it's like super light line. And um, there you go, I got my favorite lure back and we just lost the shark on the beach. I was trying to put my GoPro on my head so I can show you, but oh well, let's keep walking. The afternoon could get very, very bloody interesting. That was epic. Okay, I can see another black shadow, but that does not look like a shark. Oh man, that's right in front of it. Come on, come on, come on. What is that? There is so many strange things in the water right now. What is that? All right, good cast. 
right in front of it. Let's see if we can uh, make it eat this delicious lure. No, that's strange, whatever that is. One more, one more. Oh shit. Oh my God, we've got it. We got it. No, 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 that's massive. Oh no, I'm gonna get spooled. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I gotta chase it, we gotta chase it. Run down the beach. What the hell is this, man? Oh no, why did I cast at it? <laughs> what is this thing? Oh, look at this, fully locked drag. That drag is fully locked right now. Look at the rod. I'm gonna get spooled, ladies and gentlemen. I shouldn't have casted at that fish. I need to run, let's run. I need to run up here. Ah, this is a really, really big fish. And um, I don't know what, I don't know what it is. Again, it was just a black shadow. It's not a shark, I don't know what it is. This is not a shark, I don't know. It's big and it's angry. It splashed out there before I come shooting in here. I don't know what this is, but it's big. Look at the noodle rod in all its glory, doing what it does best, catching fish that it's not supposed to. No! That's it, it's gone. I'm quite happy that I didn't get spooled. I just had to hold the spool then and let the lure snap off. I think the lure's gone. That was a bloody experience, wasn't it? That is by far the biggest thing the noodle rod has ever hooked. And, um, I'm guessing what happened was there was a remora on top of a stingray or there was a remora swimming next to shovel nose shark or a stingray and I, that's what I cast it out was the remora and then obviously underneath it is a stingray who knows what that was felt like a stingray big heavy slob in the water a little bit devastated just lost my favorite fishing lure hopefully it's floating out there someone will pick it up definitely 100% somebody is going to roast me in the comment section for doing that and um, look, I'm sorry, but that's just part of fishing. And uh, I guarantee you sitting in traffic nine to five when you go on your job every day, your car burns more emissions and ruins the planet more than that one fishing lure sitting out there in the ocean. So that's enough from me anyway. Let's keep going. We're gonna go get a bloody tailor. Hopefully the tide's not too low and we'll um, cook him up. It's gonna be a banging sunset. We've only got a little bit of light left. Let's do it, doggies. We can do this. All right, it is safe to say that I am going to have the worst sleep I've ever had in my life. My legs are absolutely covered in sandfly bites right now. And if you don't know what a sandfly is, lucky you. They're a tiny little fly. It's not even a fly, it's like a pinprick head and they either piss on you or they bite you. One of the two, I'm not too sure. It's like little rumors that get thrown around. But my legs right now, mate, they are on fire. I have red dots. It's like I have chicken pots, chicken pox. Red dots all over my legs and they are the most itchiest, annoying, irritating little friggin' things. Legs are covered in them. Anyway, we're not gonna give up. We're back at Taylor Rock, which is um, all of this before was underwater, so. Now, I don't know what I'm fishing. It's kind of strange, but all of the oysters are exposed. So if we don't get any tailor, we're gonna have a big dirty feed of oysters. It is looking absolutely beautiful. As soon as that, as that sun's going down, the colors are coming out. It looks really good. So let's see if this side of the peninsula still provides on low tide. Boom. Come on, it's 
give me one fish. Hey! 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 Ha! Hoo! Very, very strange. Well, it's not really strange, but the Taylor Rock no longer exists. Obviously, when the tide sucks out, the fish go with it as well. That's why fishing tides is such an important thing. So, the fishing is over. It looks like um, we ain't eating fish for dinner, that's for sure. But it's okay because we have a plan B, and the plan B is just as good as plan A. So, what we're gonna do now, Fishing is dead, it's completely low tide. I'll show you in a minute. It's like sandy, shallow sand out here. So we're gonna go on an oyster graze. We've probably got about, I don't know, 40 minutes, 30 minutes of beautiful sunset before this turns into an orange wall and um, it's just gonna light up, it's gonna look dope. So let's go and eat a couple of oysters. I'm bloody hungry. It's the first thing I've eaten since 4.30 this morning. So it's gonna taste not too bloody bad. It's harvesting time. I am so bloody hungry. Look at this, there is one literally where the camera's sitting. Dish, dish. Opened up like an absolute little dream boat. I know you guys can't see this right now, but I'll um, show you. Look at this. The freshest, most beautiful ball of snot you'll ever see. Oh. Had a little crab in it. <laughs> Sometimes you get crabs in the oysters and they go weird. Anyway, I'm gonna go and have a feed. Have a look at this. This whole entire rock wall. They, if you don't know what an oyster looks like, all of these little shells are oysters. That's what you get out of it. Absolutely, absolutely delicious. Some people don't like them. Sometimes you get a little bit of shell. But I absolutely bloody love them. And there is a little bit of a trick to opening oysters. But once you get that trick down pat, they are so easy to get out. They taste like nothing you've ever eaten before. Look at that. It doesn't come any fresher than that. Oh, it's the most salty, delicious. Oh, you need to get the right one. Like this one here, look. In, bang, pop. Enjoy. 15 minutes has passed. About 35 oysters have passed these lips and um, pretty happy we didn't catch a fish actually. This is, look at those mozzies bro. This is the wild west, all right? And um, look at this mate, this is just absolutely bloody beautiful. These taste so much better than the fish would have tasted anyway. Going up here, there's some big dogs up here when I was fishing at Taylor Rock before. What a bloody day! Have a look at this. I've got a little knife, or a kind of big knife, full of oysters. That is going to be the last oysters I eat because um, I've had about 50 now. And I, I could probably keep going, you know, but what a day. Oysters to finish. Unfortunately, we didn't get a fish to cook, but hey. These oysters, honestly, probably better, I reckon. Oh. Lucky last oyster. Oh. Mm. Ah, that was bloody good. All right, if, you're, if you are an OG follower and you are still watching this video right now, do your boy a massive favor and smash that thumbs up button for me. Go on, hit it. 
Go, hit it, hit it. Yes, thank you. One more, someone else. Yeah, yes, thank you. Mad dogs. All right, that is pretty much it from me in this video. We got no sunlight left. It's pretty much gone. It's just about to go and dip into the ocean. And um, I've got a massive forward drive trip back to where I started. It's been a bloody beautiful day. I just had a beautiful feed. We put the noodle rod through absolute hell. And um, if you guys want to get your hats, your long sleeve fishing shirts, smash this button here, subscribe here, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, appreciate every single one of you guys. You're bloody legends, and um, see you in the next video. Woo! Much love, doggies. Ah.